Wow, just leaving Dayton Raceway. You know, it just felt like a squandered day and nobody's fault. I think the horse is just, well, no. Smoking Out Irish Girl was good. That horse I followed. Uh, I'm the first to say, hey, Anthony, you know, to myself, you know, you didn't drive the horse good or, you know, that wasn't where you wanted to be placed. Everything went exactly how I wanted to. I wanted to get away favorably. I knew I couldn't get away on the front. I just wanted to get away favorably and follow a, a good horse on, on paper at least and I think I felt the, followed the right horse everything worked out good the four was on the front but didn't look like he was tons the best the three had a lot of races under her belt but looked like she was one of the ones to beat I was exactly where I wanted to be I get out early just kind of blocked and made sure that Hank got underway thought that I was in the right place and it didn't take long to figure out I was not was I uh, I had to move three wide early and then uh, Trevor come out he didn't come out underneath me. He came out in lots of time. Um, down the back stretch, uh, I was three wide for an extended period of time. If I had been able to take a run at the leader, I don't beat him. That horse raced well. That down by the seaside trotting filly. When you're a good sire, you're a good sire, I guess. Um, um, yeah, I, I, I was in the place I wanted to be. If I had been able to take a run at him, I think I'm second. Maybe, but just being out that extended period of time on the outside and trying to advance in a deep track, it played a role. And, and I'll, I'll be honest with you, from my perspective, I thought that was probably one of the best races I've seen her go in her life. She was safe. She was quiet. She was reserved, focused. When I put her in gear, she felt like she trotted to what she could do. I, I was proud of the race she went. It just didn't end up favorably. And then under the wire, uh, I was down in behind in behind Trevor and we just hooked up for a second and I don't know if he heard me or not it wasn't bad but I said just stay where you're at don't move all he had to do was advance or me take back and he's fine instead his horse kind of he kind of veered to the left and now I'm 183 pounds and he is not uh, he got dumped out for a second everything was fine uh, it could have been worse so um, you know I'm happy everybody was okay and smoking out Irish girl um you know, I thought she raced well. It wasn't the season we wanted, I'm well aware, but, you know, we're trying to develop these horses into the best form of, of each horse we can. Sometimes it takes a long time, and I can tell you right now that that was the best form of her. I see not the fastest, not the strongest, still at the end of the year. Very taxing track, that track. Uh, but she just, I thought she raced well. She finished fifth, and it sucked, but that's the way the race went. We draw three, four. I get away in the two hole behind that horse. I beat him, I think. But that's that's racing. That's racing. I thought she raced well, and then Pete came out, and I scored Pete down. She felt really good. Now the track is soft here. It's a deep track. And I'm not making excuses because Delaware was a deep track, and, and she's never raced as good as she did there. I, you know, you saw the position I was in leaving. I could have blasted off the car. Then where's Purple Orgo? Right? I knew that Brett was going to have to release me, so I just let her idle. I let Purple Aura and the seven over in front of me, and then I, I uh, you know, accelerated the lead. It looked like I was parked to the quarter, but I didn't really even ask her for any speed until midway around the first turn, and she cleared off the lead quickly. She Usually she wants to fight with you for a little bit, and she was quiet tonight. I got to the half, 57-1. and one. If you remember back, I got headed by, uh, by Brett in Northfield two starts back and he beat me fair and square and then in Delaware maybe it was three starts back and in Delaware I dropped the hammer down the back stretch and, and, and the rest was history now today I just didn't want to let I didn't want to get headed and I see the earplugs are out on the horse first over mine are still in I'm thinking I'm probably a winner I don't know about Atlanta I'm probably a winner right 57 and 1 126 and 1 I'm thinking 55 and 2 and it didn't take long midway around the last turn again she got running in a bit but I said it's all right as long as that horse doesn't got me headed you know and she's still the filly she was last year too if you remember a couple of races it looked like she was beaten she fought back on to win she's a fighter and always has been a fighter and I wasn't headed yet when we got to that lane I kicked the earplugs and there was nothing there so I'd said to Jason uh you know we talk about this all the time these are living breathing animals and smoking hot Irish girl was definitely healthy tonight definitely raced good we're sweet on Pete not her finest race, but it wasn't that she was lame. I thought she, mechanically, I thought as comfortable as I've ever seen her. Was it the track? I don't think so. 
We scoped her, and sure enough, lots of mucus in there. Not in a ton, not a ton, but enough that would turn a 55 trotter into 56 and 3. I can tell you that. Enough that would get a favored beat from the head of the lane to the wire. It's enough there. It's inopportune, but there's nothing you can do. As I said, these are timing. We talk about timing all the time. That's what it was. Timing. You know, it sucks. We had the best filly in the race, but that happens all the time. You might have the best horse in the race, but that doesn't mean that they're going to write you checks before you earn it. You know, we talk about, um, you know, long shots or a little... This is why we race. Right? This is why we race. Favorites don't always win. Horses get sick sometimes. If she wasn't terribly sick. I think she'll be fine. You know, she's leaving to go to Ross Leonard tonight. There wasn't anything in there that would make me believe that maybe we should not send this filly. I think this is just a minor sickness, minor cold. I doubt you would even show an elevated white count on her blood. But it was definitely enough to get her beat. Tracks a little bit slower than Delaware. She trotted 56 and 3 and wasn't awesome. Yeah. What we saw in that scope is what I felt in the race. So we'll try and clean her up, have her good for next Friday. That <laughs> Again, we have to talk about you know what we're willing to take for Sweet on Pete, what we're going to do with Sweet on Pete. I know there's a lot of Pete lovers out there, and I'm always in Pete's corner. I love Sweet on Pete. Yes, she can test your patience, but she's good right now. Problem I have is bringing a four-year-old mare back with ten lifetime wins, at least nine of them count as paramutuals. She's not good. There's not a place to race her. Yeah, if you're in Atlanta, okay, fine. Nice Philly, but she's not Atlanta. So I think we have to take a, lot, a long, serious look at what Sweet on Pete is worth to us, and that number may change quite a bit by next Saturday. Absolutely. But this is a big stable. We're going to continue to move forward. We're going to continue to make the right decisions for now. You know, I had a, had a very nice email from uh, a client that we butted heads sometimes, and uh, a client said, you know, obviously, walk on the moon, you're offered money because... You know, he's going to be sold as a stud and a roadster stud is probably worth a lot more money. You're 100% right. But we don't have roadster studs. We're not roadster people. I don't prep horses for roadster sales. And if it come back and he was sold for a quarter of a million dollars next year, I'd be like, goddamn roadsters. You don't, we don't work in the roadster community. It's just it's the way it is. So, um, and having said that, I don't have an answer for you on that either. I have no communication with um, the person that was looking at walking alone either. It's, it's not a sale until I hear, I'll take the horse, here's a check. Then it's a sale. So a lot going on. We get horses racing. Right? Two flat fillies today. Purple Laura raced as good as she could. Right? I thought she actually beat me for fifth. We two fifths and a sixth. Uh, the fifth was a, a well-earned and well-deserved fifth in a, in, from from smoking hot Irish girl and I think she's going to be a nice filly now she's proven tonight she made me feel like that was Purple Aura that is how she's supposed to feel so I'm happy I think I just said Purple Aura I don't know smoking hot Irish girl is, I wish I had seen her do that in August but you know what it takes a long time sometimes to develop these horses and tonight made me feel like she's going to be a, a pretty decent three-year-old for us. Speed never really seemed to be an issue. It was always mentally making mistakes, putting those steps in, making breaks. She never offered to do any of that today. When I moved her, she was all business and she trotted her heart out right to the wire. Top marks from me. I'll give her an A. A plus, you get to the winner's circle. I'm going to give her an A for tonight's effort. And Sweet Up, he tried. Sweet Up Pete's not a coward. She's never backed down from a fight in her life. She raced as well as she could. We know what happened, and that's that. So, um, we'll try and mitigate that for next week. Uh, race her in Indiana. She's going to leave to go to Indiana tonight. She'll be settled in at Ross Leonard's farm. Get some well-deserved. The good thing about this is also, get her out in the field for three, four, five days. Let her relax. Field, light jogging. She doesn't need to train. She's coming back in six days. I think Sweet On Pete will be good next Friday. So, with that, and, and Purple Aura also. 
thought she raced well. She's just not the type of horse to come from sixth and sprint by everybody, right? Get away in the two hole, get away in the front, be in a, a striking position, not a position where you got to go from almost a standstill. And that's not Aaron's fault. That's just the way, way the race uh, shaped out. So a tough time of the year for us. We're left trying to answer a lot of questions that are very difficult, very fluid, but I'll do the best I can to answer those questions for everybody as we head into a different cycle for us, the fall, winter season here at thestable.ca. Not the day we wanted today, but you know what? It could always be worse. I'm not disappointed in either horse. I know exactly what happened in both cases. That's racing. So I'll talk to you all very soon. Good luck to everybody tonight. No free lunches racing tonight. Uh, Mickey is racing. No, yes. Jakey Mickey Miller is racing tonight. Um, good luck to everybody. Take care.